Okay, I will be talking to you today on three separate topics. These are burns, trauma and zoonoses. We will start with infections in burns and these are some of the things I will go over with you to understand the clinical manifestations, diagnosis and treatment of burn wound infections, to identify appropriate management of sepsis in these patients and to understand basic principles of infection control in the burn unit. Now burn wound sepsis has declined from earlier from about 6 to 1 percent but still there is significant morbidity once your total burn surface area exceeds 15 percent and you also have an increased morbidity if your burns occur in the lower extremities although the bugs tend to remain the same. Patients with burn wound infections also have other types of hospital acquired infections, typically catheter related infections. For instance, in this, uh, in this series of 175 patients, there was uh, multi organ dysfunction in 83 uh, percent as a direct cause of death. Who is at risk from severe burns? Basically those who sustained more than 20 percent burns. Uh, in management of burn wounds, topical therapy is associated with a higher incidence of burn wound infection and graft loss compared with early excision and grafting, which is a significant change over the years in management of these patients. Delaying burn wound excision increases bacterial loads and gram negative colonization and when bacterial counts exceed 10 power 5 organisms per gram of tissue, that is a strong risk factor for developing infection even when the burn wounds are excised. Despite the ability of burn wound excision to decrease bacterial counts, sepsis continues to take a significant toll on these patients. What is the microbiology of these infections? Typically early on you see gram positive organisms, typically Staphylococcus aureus, Enterococcus species. Later on gram negatives take over classically Pseudomonas aeruginosa followed by Enterobacteriaceae. In recent years, we have seen increased incidences of MRSA, Stenotrophomonas and Acinetobacter directly related to the antibiotic exposure these patients get. Finally, Candida takes over as you use more antibiotics and with more prolonged hospital stay and the important virus in a burn setting is herpes simplex, usually type 1. You can also kind of predict what your organism will be based upon the epidemiologic risk factors. For instance, gram positive organisms, staph and strep typically early on, gram negative organisms dominate after 5 days. This is when you start seeing Pseudomonas, Klebsiella and you also need to know the sensitivities in your own unit. That is crucial to developing appropriate empiric antibiotic therapy. Once